In this video, we are going to go over DNA polymerase 1, 2, and 3. That's really the big big focus of the video, but we will also go over helicase, ligase, and primase. So we've got five questions here. Um, and so we'll look at we'll go over these questions real briefly, try to help us focus in on what the most important stuff to remember is within the video. And these same questions are going to show up again at the end. And then that's a great chance for you to use some active learning and make sure you can answer these questions. Okay, so what we'll be going over, describe DNA polymerase 1, and really that could just easily apply to 2 and 3. Um, what catalyzes the elongation of DNA strand in the 5 by 3 direction? Uh, to repair a timing dimmer by nucleotide excision, the necessary enzymes act in which order? What is the role of ligase? What is the function of restriction enzymes? Okay, so we'll get going here. Uh, DNA polymerase 1 is an enzyme that participates in the process of prokaryotic DNA replication. Discovered by Arthur Kornberg in 1956, it was, first, it was the first known DNA polymerase and the first known of any kind of polymerase. It was initially characterized in E. coli and is ubiquitous in prokaryotes. In E. coli and many other bacteria, the gene that encodes polymerase 1 is known as Pol A. The E. coli form of the enzyme is composed of 928 amino acids and is an example of a processive enzyme. It can sequentially catalyze multiple polymerizations without releasing the single stranded template. The physiological function of polymerase 1 is mainly to repair any damage with DNA, but it also serves to connect Okazaki fragments by deleting RNA primers and replacing the strand with DNA. DNA polymerase 1 removes the RNA nucleotides from the primer and adds equivalent DNA nucleotides to the three end of Okazaki fragments. DNA polymerase 2 is a prokaryotic DNA dependent DNA polymerase encoded for the poly B gene. It was originally isolated by Thomas Kornberg in 1970 and characterized over the next few years. The in vivo functionality of poly Marase 2 is under debate, yet consensus shows that it is primarily involved as a backup enzyme in prokaryotic DNA replication. The enzyme has a 5 to 3 DNA synthesis capability, as well as a 3 to 5 exon nuclease proofreading activity. It interacts with multiple binding partners common with DNA polymerase 3 in order to enhance its fidelity and processivity. DNA polymerase 2 is composed of 783 amino acids that are encoded by poly B gene. A globular protein, it functions as a monomer, whereas many other polymerases will form complexes. The enzyme DNA polymerase 3 is the primary enzyme involved with bacterial DNA replication. It performs the 5 by 3 polymerase function, which means that it adds nucleotides to the 3 end of the forming DNA strand during replication. Before replication can start, the enzyme helicase unwinds the two DNA strands. Both strands become templates for replication. DNA polymerase 3 cannot add free nucleotides to these strands until primers have been added by the enzyme primase. There is also a DNA polymerase 1 that proofreads the newly synthesized DNA strands to make sure the appropriate nucleotides were added. It fixes mistakes when they are found by removing the bad nucleotide and adding the correct one. DNA polymerase 3 catalyzes the elongation of a DNA strand in the 5 by 3 direction. The function of DNA polymerase 3 is to add nucleotides to the end of a growing DNA strand. 
<clears throat> and so now we'll look at helicase, ligase, and primase. Helicases are a class of enzymes vital to all organisms. Their main function is to unpack an organism's genes. They are motor prote proteins that move directionally along a nucleic acid phosphodiester backbone, separating two nucleic acid strands, such as DNA and RNA, using energy from ATP hydrolysis. There are many helicases, representing the great variety of processes in which strand separation must be catalyzed. Approximately 1% of eukaryotic genes code for helicases. The human genome codes for 95 non-redundant helicases, 64 RNA helicases, and 31 DNA helicases. Many cellular processes, such as DNA replication, transcription, translation, recombination, DNA repair, and ribosome biogenesis involve the separation of nucleic acid strands that necessitates the use of helicases. Helicases separates the DNA strands during replication. <coughs> In biochemistry, a ligase is an enzyme that can catalyze the joining of two large molecules by forming a new chemical band, new chemical bond, usually with accompanying hydrolysis of a small pendant chemical group on one of the larger molecules or the enzyme catalyzing the linking together of two compounds. Ligase event covalently connects segments of DNA. DNA ligase joins Okazaki fragments together in the elongation of the lagging strand during DNA replication. And DNA primase is an enzyme involved in the replication of DNA and is a type of RNA polymerase. Primase catalyzes the synthesis of short RNA or DNA in some organisms, segment called primer complementary to a SS DNA or single-stranded DNA template. After this elongation, the RNA piece is removed to a 5 by 3 exonuclease and refilled with DNA. Primase synthesizes short segments of RNA. Okay, and so then we're back to our, our five questions that we looked at at the beginning. So this is a great time to hit that pause button and see if you can answer these questions.